Well, the city's single worst landlord. That is how lawmakers describe NYCHA today as they detailed a new report on lead inside NYCHA apartments. Lead paint is apparently so widespread that major changes are desperately needed. Now, News News reporter Sandra Bookman has more on those potential changes. I think we've hit critical mass. Uh, this is uh, beyond an emergency situation. A group of local lawmakers and public housing residents stood side by side today to demand action now to address the seemingly endless problems of the New York Public Housing Authority, even comparing the lead paint issues at NYCHA to the lead-tainted water crisis in Flint, Michigan. It's very similar. I mean, uh, people... Uh, uh, didn't notice, didn't care, turned a blind eye to what was going on. In addition to presenting a new survey of NYCHA tenants showing most don't believe the authority is adequately addressing the problems, the group laid out a list of legislative proposals they believe will address the issues, including a state monitor to oversee NYCHA, a repair certificate program that would allow experienced developers to make repairs in exchange for zoning bonuses on other projects and requiring 311 to accept NYCHA complaints. When a resident calls 311 and gives a complaint about NYCHA, what they do is they don't take the complaint, they connect you to NYCHA. City don't tell on the city. Uh, we know that if you do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, that is the definition of insanity. But insanity is what describes the city's approach to managing public housing. Lawmakers say they will introduce the proposed NYCHA fixes in the coming weeks.